All right, so we heard extensively there from Aaron Boone, Brian Cashman prior to that. In listening to Boone, Michael, what stood out to you? Well, I think he really was conflicted with the coaching situation. Uh, and I'm wondering why he didn't draw that line in the sand. I know he's close with uh, PJ and with Marcus, but he's really, really close with Phil Nevin. And uh, the fact that he didn't make that stand is somewhat curious, but you could see that he battled with it, and that was a real problem. That was one of the things why, you know, it was asked early on to Brian Cashman, why did this take so long? Obviously, there's a contractual back and forth, but it has to be that as well. Phil Nevin is not just a coach to this guy. Phil Nevin is a really, really close friend. And, you know, you hear through back channels, Phil Nevin was a guy who pushed back against the analytics. They don't like that pushback. So maybe it would have been hard to keep him, but um, it's interesting that that was something that he really battled with. I was intrigued by the way he defended the process and talking about the way the Yankees do business and he referred to the idea of a, a bogeyman off to the side who is dictating the way the decisions get made in the dugout. Now, we know that the managerial position is much different in 2021 slash 2022 than it ever has been and that front offices influence the decisions that manager are going to make because they give them so much information and they say this is a plan that should work we can win this game by doing a b c d and e but you saw aaron boone bristle a little bit at that perception now that perception is out there that perception exists because we know how heavy analytically baseball has become but I was intrigued by the way he discussed that situation. But they, it, you say perception, but it is reality. They're not paying all those analytics people to not come up with information that never gets used. It's a hot button issue. They do not like to be said that they're just a push button manager. But the, we, we can all agree on this, though. You're not the same guy as Billy Martin and Earl Weaver. You do not have that kind of power. And as I said at the start of the show, Brian Cashman was quoted. He was on my radio show and said this about a manager managing by the gut. He said, well, you could do it. Obviously you have that freedom but if it doesn't work you have to answer to it well then really again semantics how much how much latitude do you really have i think aaron boone does a share of managing but it's influenced by upstairs and in fairness to boone i believe he's in lockstep with that that's how he got the job he believes in the numbers he believes that the numbers work so he's not deviating maybe his gut is telling him exactly what the the numbers would say so maybe there is the semantic issue that we have but all of baseball right now, the four teams that remain in the postseason as well, it's driven from upstairs. It's not driven from the dugout, no matter how much they protest.